Some Nigerian universities have begun announcing their resumption dates for staff and students following the suspension of the eight-month strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. However, the lecturers are asking the federal government to pay up their salary arrears, as this would mobilize them back to the classrooms. Plus TV News was at the University of Lagos, Unilag, where academic and business activities seem to be slow to pick up. Following the suspension of the eight-month strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities on the condition that the federal government meets their demands, various universities across the country have announced dates of resumption. However, doubt still seems to prevail in the minds of some lecturers and students on whether the incessant disruption in the education system has come to an end. Uh, yeah, I'm happy actually because our program is meant to have ended a long time ago and a lot of students have left the country looking for other alternatives. Why some are like, I've started this, I must finish it. So I mean, my classmates, and because of them, I'm here to get more information as per regarding classes and other the things. The lectures have not started. Yes, lectures have not started, but we've started our project. So I wanted to find out, and results also have been dropping, and one or two issues with the results. So I just wanted to come and find out if there was anything going on now, since many of them cannot be here. Strike being over, it's a relief, but as we all know, it is a conditional relief that based on if some agreements that have been finalized come into place, everything stays at it. So it's very shaky. It's uncertain that, oh, okay, that, and let's see how it is. Will they go with what everything has been planned or would they go back on strike? That's how it is. It's not a stable affairs. Okay, let's come back to school. Let's see how it is. Everybody is just watching what the bigger picture would look like. Um, I feel relieved coming back to school because the strike started literally a day after my matric. Um, I'm a hundred level student, so it's like I didn't even get to really experience the university life before the strike started. So 100%, I'm happy that at least I get to go back to school and actually be a student. While some lecturers are elated on the current situation, some say their demands are yet to be met. It's a good thing that uh, the school is back. As you can see now, activities are on already. Uh, but let me correct an impression. Uh, the truth is that lecturers hardly go on strike because teaching is just one of the things that lecturers do. You know, we have other jobs that we do. We are into the search. You see, I've been coming every day. You see, most lecturers you go to the offices during the so-called strike. You'll find them in the offices. So that tells you that uh, we've never been on strike. But we just withdrew a service, which is the teaching aspect, so that people can understand our grievances. Now that we are back, we, uh, we are hoping that the federal government meets us halfway. Don't forget they've still not paid us uh, for eight months. And uh, the issues we've taken to the table have still not been attended to, uh, which at the top of it is the revitalization of the university. So we are hoping that this co coming back of the union would not be taken as an opportunity for the government to go back to sleep and uh, not do anything about the educational system in the country. We need adequate classroom, we need adequate facility we want our university students to graduate and be able to get into the workplace without having to go through another set of training and retraining. And that is what the strike has been all about. At the, at the least of the advocacy on the strike is the salary uh, of lecturers. Academic activities within the school environment are yet to begin. However, there are high hopes of a return to a normal activities. Uyime Elijah, Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.